we want to talk about what happens when you get a lead and how the system works. And you can see here, this is a system. It's very, very organized. There are certain pieces, and each of these pieces are directed towards converting that lead into a potential patient. That's really the key to the game. And again, you want to realize that what's going on in a system. Here's an example. Dr. Steve and I did not send you one invitation and hope and pray that you come to this webinar. We didn't you know, put a note on our website and hope that one day you'd come to our website and find out we're having a webinar. Anyone who's, who's bringing information to you that wants you as a client, a customer, that you want as a patient, whatever it might be, requires repetition. Repetition is the number one thing in the game that you need to know to be able to get patients. You must be consistent and you must repetitively go after that patient. Now, you're going after a patient with good stuff because if they come to your office, those people are going to win. They're going to win in the health game. So you're doing them a favor by trying to get them in the office. They may not know it at the time, but you use repetition to do it. One-time lecture, one-time follow-up, when it takes 80% of the audience seven times before they even consider you as a customer, is simply not going to get it. So we really want to look at all the possibilities of all the different things that you could use to be able to get people, the people that are your leads, to get them into your system to convert them. Remember, if the 90-10 rule, is, if you only make it 80-20, you double the number of people that come into your office. Could you imagine if all of a sudden you started doubling the number of people that come into your office from events? or tripling those. Those are not difficult to do when you leave the room with 90% of the people. It's when you leave with 10%, it's a tough fight. It's a tough game. So I'm going to go over each of these, and I'll tell you what they are. And really, <clears throat> we'll talk about now what I consider to be the most important time to convert a patient into a customer once you've had your event. In other words, you had an event, a lecture, a screening, or whatever it is, and now when are they ripe for being converted into your office as a patient. Well, let me ask you this question. If you've ever bought a home and you go on a tour with a real estate agent, what happens? You know, you look through the house, you and your wife are excited. Oh, wow, I love that room. That looked great. And oh, the view is really fantastic. You leave excited. When you're excited, follow through is much more effective because you're hot. You're ready to go. You go drive a test, drive a car, man. That car felt great. I love being behind that car, shifting that, those gears, whatever that is. Me, it's motorcycles. I get on a Harley, I'm in heaven. You know, so that's the turn on for me. So when is the time that the patient's hot? Is it three months down the road or six months down the road or nine months down the road? No, they're hot now. So the key is as soon as you get their information, as soon as they give you that name and email address, and remember I told you the key to any game is you must get out there and get the names and email addresses. You can't do follow-up to nobody. 